YouTube channel is your girl, all things African Nana here. As I told you, I'm going to claim that PC bag. And that's my name, by the way. Sorry for not being, for not being a teacher. Today, I'm taking it on because I want to move maybe from Nairobi to I'm, I'm reconsidering of moving to Mombasa. So, I've been shown this house. It's $15,000. That's $150. It's too bad to come. So here is the sitting room. It's a bit small, but I don't love big houses. You see, there's even a fan. What is your the fan? This is the same fan here. It's two bedrooms. There's another room here. Come, come on me. There's another room here. Let me go, sir. Yes. There's another room here. Come on, come here. And there are two, of course, in those covers. You see. This is the first bedroom. There's also a fan here. Say you fan here. Come. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This, this is the corridor. No, it's not on the shelf. The one you can on. Yeah. This is the corridor here. I've chosen to put my fridge here. I'm a person that can have a fridge. The kitchen, you can see this is the outside door. Let me just show you what. Like, you know, it's a house in the ground floor. Look at it. This is where we'll hang our clothes. <laughs> you see, that the door, there is a security door. This is where you put your bar soap. Toothbrushes, your toothpaste, and everything. Here is the toilet. The toilet is in the combination with the shower. That's how many houses are built in Mombasa, by the way. And this is the second bedroom. You can see it also has a fan and also the cupboard. You see? Yes. So, and even the windows, because of security, they have the grills. So, and the net. So mosquitoes cannot enter. So for more, I've told you the house is located at Palestina in Bamburi, Utange, and it's 15,000 Kenya shillings. Bye. Stay tuned for more. The kitchen has in-built wardrobes and two here. It's a nice place for someone who is single. That's why I decided I'm reconsidering moving to Mombasa, by the way. See, all the widows have the grills for security purposes and have the mosquito net because of mosquitoes. You know, on both sides, the Julikananga na mosquitoes. And the sink has two taps one for salty water and the other one for fresh water. Don't mind about the pipe, I was fetching some water. So that's the overview of this place. Hmm? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl, all things African, and I'm here. I'm looking for houses. Apparently the one I've found is around Mweki and view very good view. Very thick. I'll show you the inside. Tell me where which one do you compare from the one I I showed you in Bamburi and this. This is what I do. Uh, house number one. I told you it's a bedsita. Let me put some of mine. This is a bedsita. 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 This it has a very nice view with the balcony and the price is eight thousand that is eighty dollars it's in wiki kasarani road hmm? I'm sorry. Hmm? I'm sorry. it's in wiki so choose for me i showed you the house in mombasa and there's two options i'm going to be shown this one which is on third floor and i'm going to show you the one which is in ground floor stay tuned for my course so 20 or third yeah number three Sour. That's the glimpse of 
of it all. We upload kitu. What's the one in third floor? That is ground floor. Is that floor? Yeah. This is the one in third, in ground floor. And there is full supply of water. Yeah, 24-7. 24-7. Oh, you see the exact The bed is a lot spacious. This is a lot spacious. You see the individual here and it has a separate kitchen which is here. Can. Which is here. Yeah. Though it's small, but I prefer a separate kitchen by the way. Yeah. And there is a toilet here. Yeah. The bathroom here is bigger, there is darkness, don't worry about that. Sour. So, it also has the cupboard, the wardrobe here. And this one is 7,000. So, help me to choose which kind of house I want to move in, guys. Stay tuned and support the channel. Bye. And the floor is nice, you know. That's the view, the building, it's third floor. I hope you've seen the houses, the one which is in Mombasa, the one which I told you it's in Palestina, in Bamburi. That one was 15,000. And mind you, it was a modern house, it was a two bedroom. And the other one which I showed you in Mwiki, Mwiki Road, Kasarani, that one was a bed sitter. The, the one which was on third floor, that was 8,000. And the one which was on ground floor, 7,000. For me, I'll tell you, as I compare the houses, because now I'm, I'm confused whether to move to Mombasa or Nairobi. But Mombasa houses are very cheap. Me, I love Mombasa. But the difference between Mombasa and Nairobi now is in terms of food, organic food in Mombasa. Food is very expensive in Mombasa. And also transportation in Mombasa, it's quite cheap as compared to Nairobi. Because you imagine since corona happened the fare has always been a hundred i couldn't tell me a peak now off peak it's a hundred two and four now that is two two hundred kenyan shillings but for me mombasa it's a city yes it's developed but it's kind of slow town um you guys just help me and then in mombasa wi-fi now Wi-Fi is an issue. You remember the one we were in Airbnb in the end, that Wi-Fi was not free. Yani it's like when you have too many people, I don't even understand the internet bandwidth in Mombasa. Just, guys, just comment on the section. Which house do you, where do you want me to move? Is it Mombasa or Nairobi? Life has been very hard. And I'm so sad, saddened by the fact that my pin bandwidth is up. I'm so sad saying because I really want to move. Guys, just support my channel. I don't know whether to buy the camera, whether to buy a laptop, whether to move. I don't you come up and say it at all. But me, all I know because you, my virtual friends, you are here, you're going to support me. And I told you I'm I manifesting for the GoPro Hero 8. The camera here in Nairobi now it's very expensive. So Someone touch your hearts you buy for me because it's black November. Because now even the pin has not come. I tried checking in YouTube, but then they said due to Corona, that is going to delay. So I don't know how it's going to delay for how many days. And someone told me in the comment section that his came after 10 days. And you, you know, people think that I'm lying, but I think it depends with the country you are. Depends with the country you are. Come on, in this developing country of ours in Kenya, it normally takes three months. Mine, I think I had opened this channel. I was monetized since July. Is it July or August? It was supposed to come in October. Musho, musho. Now it did not come. So we have to be patient and wait. So back to the houses. I'm still in search of houses. But now, Najikuna Palimkone in Africa, me, I'll just move in a studio apartment. As we call it, bed sitter. So if you love this kind of video, like, share, and subscribe for more. By the way, you know, I was even shocked. Like that two bedroom in Mombasa was fifteen thousand, and it was in the same neighborhood that I am in in Nairobi. And in this same neighborhood I am, the two bedroom is eighteen thousand, ranges from eighteen to twenty thousand, and it's both are modern houses. Now Nashanga, is your money going to utas and the to kutajirisha my landlords? And in bed sitter, in the one which I looked at in Wiki, it was around seven to eight thousand, by the way. And it's the same neighborhood as this one, as where I am, and it's seven thousand or eight thousand. But now the difference is bed sitters in where I live, they don't have a separate kitchen as to where I showed you in Wiki. So, because nowadays I've seen many studio apartments, they have separate kitchens. 
kitchens i i think that's the modern bed sitters eh i think people prefer that way so guys help me because i really want to move i want privacy yeah much for me i've uh, i've officially given myself ambassadors of telling our girl chals there stop cohabitating cohabiting yeah it's cohabiting that's the right word maisha huko nje si raisi maisha ni ngumu kukuwa na mimba si kazi kulewa mtoto ndio kazi okay and another thing stay safe stay home and self quarantine this covid thing is real uh, in town always wear your mask you know if you are not if you don't wear your mask kuna shikwa na unalipa fine of 20000 kenyan shillings and i keep on telling you guys that money is too much that money is only based for basic things and your needs not paying off to people who are unajua sijui nini so bye bye stay tuned for more and please support the channel support the channel bye